guys, welcome back. Today I will be sharing five Dollar Tree DIYs using this little calendar right here. I'm actually going to be using two calendars today, this one and the Simply Blessed calendar from the Dollar Tree. But y'all, five Dollar Tree DIYs using a Dollar Tree calendar? Yes, please. I am so excited to share these DIYs with you guys. I have been working on them for a little while now, so I hope you really enjoyed this video. Before we get started, I do want to mention today I will be giving away one of these farmer's market calendars from the Dollar Tree to one of you guys. I hope you're so excited. These calendars, oh my goodness, my sister and my mom were on the hunt for these because I absolutely had to have one. And then when they found some, I asked if they could pick one up for a giveaway so that I could give one back to you guys. I truly appreciate each and every one of you and I'm so excited to be able to give one of these away today. If you'll just check the description box for all of the rules and details, super easy. You just have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram because I will be announcing the winner over on Instagram. It's just a lot easier that way. So, if you want to win one of these, check the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, let's go ahead and take a look at the calendars I'll be using today. This one is the Farmer's Market Dollar Tree calendar, y'all. It is oh so good. I'm so obsessed. As well as this Simply Obsessed calendar from the Dollar Tree. Y'all, their calendars are amazing. I'm going to show you five DIYs that you can use these calendars with. You could also use them for planners, y'all get your hands on some Dollar Tree calendars. What I personally like to do when working with calendars is flipping it over to the back, undoing the staple and pulling the staple out of the entire calendar. This definitely makes the calendar easier to work with and it saves you from any little slip ups with some scissors. Since this is a fall DIY, I of course will be using the fall prints in these calendars as well as the little monthly overview icons on the back of the calendar as well. And I will also be using the front cover. The calendar pages are quite thin, but the front cover is extra thick and it's really easy to work with. Alrighty, let's get into DIY number one. I will be using this little wood shape that is in the shape of a pumpkin from the Dollar Tree, as well as a piece of scrapbooking paper from Hobby Lobby. You can use any piece of scrapbooking paper that you have on hand. This step is actually optional. Like I mentioned, the calendar pages are quite thin, so I wanted to adhere mine to some scrapbooking paper instead of just applying it straight to the wood. So I'm simply going to trace my scrapbooking paper and my calendar page in the shape of this pumpkin, cut it out and adhere it with a glue stick. The calendar page almost fit this pumpkin perfectly. I did have to go in with some scrap pieces and attach it to the side here. Alrighty, at this point you could totally stop here. You can set your little pumpkin up on an easel. You can use it for a center of a wreath. And if you were going to do so, you could paint your stem brown or any color that you wanted. But I decided that I wanted to add a bow. So I was playing around with some different buffalo check ribbons, the black and white ones from the Dollar Tree. This one here I got on sale at Joann's last year. So I'm just gonna use some ribbon that I have on hand, which is this one, as well as a burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna whip a bow together, add some raffia, attach it with the pipe cleaner to my pumpkin stem. Now. My bow started getting bigger and bigger and bigger. If you do like the bow look, and maybe my bow is a little bit too big for you, you can totally downsize your bow.
Okay, you'll have to let me know in the comments down below what you think because I know I'm biased and I am completely obsessed. I did go ahead and attach a little orange pumpkin from the Dollar Tree to the center of the bow. I think it was that perfect little touch. It's oh so, so, so cute. And I did want to show how I am reusing one of my kitchen Dollar Tree DIYs, which is this super adorable little easel. And I am using it to set my little pumpkin on it, y'all so stinking cute if you don't have an easel or if you would like to hang it if you attach your bow with your pipe cleaner you can use that as your wall hanging piece okay let's go ahead and move right into a diy number two taking our simply blessed dollar tree calendar i'm gonna go ahead and pull out the november print which is this one here begin each day with a grateful heart i had this eight by ten picture frame on hand so that's what i'll be using today but the dollar tree has some awesome eight by ten frames for only a dollar yes please so this one is just super super easy you're just going to take your calendar print trace it into an 8x10 cut it and put it back in the frame yes ma'am that easy and then i just styled it in the living room i think it's definitely very subtle super easy and oh so cute Moving on to DIY number three, I will be using this Dollar Tree wall decor sign that says friends gather here, which is definitely really cute, but I'm gonna go ahead and flip it around and use the back. I'll be taking the back of the cover of our farmer's market calendar. I chose to use the cover for this specific DIY because the cover is a lot thicker. I'm just going to take some Mod Podge and apply a generous coat to my wall decor piece, attach the cover, smooth it out, and you could stop here, but I do recommend adding that layer of Mod Podge. Now it is going to give you some wrinkles, some bumps, some air bubbles, but since it is that farmhouse rustic look, the little wrinkles just give character. Now I did take some raffia from the Dollar Tree as well as this little wired like garland and I made two little bows. I also pulled some Dollar Tree floral that I was playing around with but decided not to use. And then I will be using some of the orange burlap leaves from the Dollar Tree. They are wired leaves, they have a wired stem, they are perfect for crafts and DIYs, but they were just a little bit too large for this particular project. So that's an easy fix. All you have to do is fold your leaf in half and then trim, trim away. Now that I have much smaller leaves, it's time to start gluing everything down. So I'm just going to take my hot glue gun, apply the leaves, attach my bows, and then I decided to take a little bit more of that little beaded garland, make some little curly cues, and also hot glue that in just to add some more fullness to this little bow. y'all and it is as easy as that this diy is done i think it turned out so so cute i am of course obsessed and i also wanted to share something with y'all i had this little piece from hobby lobby sitting on my bench and i set this little diy in it because it had a perfect little lip and y'all that just elevated this dollar treat diy to the next level so if you make something similar to this and you want to give it some more height you want to give it some texture some dimension look around at other decor pieces that you have lying around the house and you can totally layer this piece within a larger piece And let's get DIY number four started. I will be using this little cube drawer from the Dollar Tree. They are absolutely adorable. And I will be painting it. I am going to give it two coats of my white chalk paint or my Waverly chalk paint in white. 
if you can't find this chalk paint, I have another favorite and it is the folk art, I think it's like home decor, white chalk paint. I'll have a link for it in my Amazon store down below if you'd like to check it out. And I will be dry brushing it with some Waverly chalk paint in truffle. Once that is all dry, I'm going to take that little mini icon. It's like a little mini print of each calendar piece that's on the very, very back. I'll be taking the one that says Autumn Harvest and applying some Mod Podge and attaching it right to the center of my little cube. How adorable is that? See, we are not wasting a piece of this calendar, y'all. Now I'll be taking a little bit more of that Mod Podge, applying it to the top of everything to give it a good coat to seal everything in. I am recycling some of my Dollar Tree a little styrofoam piece, popping that in and taking some Dollar Tree floral picks, y'all. Dollar Tree has some great floral picks. These are a lot taller for this little bitty mini project. So I'm just gonna cut the pieces down to size and start popping in all of the floral picks. If you aren't into like the more traditional vibrant orange fall decor and you prefer more of like a neutral farmhouse look, go ahead and pop some of those picks in. I know the Dollar Tree did come out with some neutral floral picks for fall, but my sister wasn't able to ever find any, but I know that Walmart did come out with some this year. And y'all, it is that easy. This little piece is absolutely adorable. It will look cute paired just about anywhere in a tiered tray next to my other DIY. You can pop this on your coffee bar, in your kitchen, next to a picture frame. Absolutely adorable. Okay, moving right along to our last DIY, DIY number five. I will be using this little shadow box frame from the Dollar Tree and I popped out the little dinosaur piece. I'm gonna go ahead and give the little shadow box two coats of the Waverly chalk paint in white. I initially wasn't going to paint the center piece since I will be attaching some scrapbooking paper, but then I just thought, you know what? Let me just go ahead and get the job done. I did go ahead and dry brush it in the truffle chalk paint from Waverly. Now I am putting together three Jenga blocks where they're actually the dupe from Dollar Tree. They are the tumbling tower blocks. I'm just attaching them with some hot glue and I'm going to apply some Mod Podge, attach another one of those little mini icons from the calendar, add some scrapbooking paper to the center of this little shadow box. You can attach it with a glue stick or Mod Podge, whichever is your choice. Add a little bit of hot glue to the back of the Jenga pieces and attach your little pop-up. Y'all, this is so cute. I feel like you definitely would see a piece like this in Marshalls, Kirkland's, Hobby Lobby, and we made it for a fraction of the cost. Yes, please. Alrighty, well that is a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I really, really wanna know which DIY was your absolute favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to check out the description box below to win this farmer's market calendar. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. Subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Hit that notification bell so that you won't miss my next upload. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Thank you.